So I'm playing on the new zombie map, finding out what's new. And it's obvious that they made the zombies much better. They gave them more abilities like this right here. Look at my screen getting blurred. It seems like they're making the zombies tougher. They're giving them more abilities to make it even more frustrating for us. And then I see this this man, the, the fireman. He looks just like Little Wayne. He even walks like Little Wayne. Quick draw McGraw. I went to art school. So look at that. He walks just like Little Wayne. So now I'm thinking, should I start? Should I start saying some of his rhymes to him? And I guess if you touch him or get close, he blows up. So I'm not sure if he can actually blow up his own zombie friends. That would be something, right? Instead of... Because if he could do that, you know, and I see that Max Ammo right there, so I'm letting it fly on Little Wayne the Fireman. So I'm just thinking. I'm thinking about strategies now in this first session. I'm thinking, you know... Can we use him to our advantage? Can we use Little Wayne, the fireman, to our advantage? So maybe the next time I play, I'll try it out and see what happens. You know, see if when he does that, if there's a bunch of zombies around, if he'll kill the zombies. Probably not, though, because I don't think zombies can, can harm themselves. So I don't know. But this map is just a lot of fun. And it's, it's pretty tough as well. A lot of times in between the rounds when we had a crawler, we weren't sure what to do or where to go for the next round. It's, it's almost like on this map, you can't stay in one area. And look at us jumping up and down. We, we've been playing too much Call of the Dead. It's like we think we're going to freeze in this water. We're not. But you see us jumping around. <laughs> Isn't that funny? We're so used to Call of the Dead. We're jumping around in the water trying not to freeze when you can't even freeze so this zombie map it definitely seems like you have to keep moving you can't just you can't just stay in one area like you could in call of the dead and that really makes it difficult i mean right here i don't even know what i don't even know what to do i came in this corner i don't know why i did that but actually since i have panic pistols that's actually a good strategy you just wait for them to pile up and then you let it fly on them and another thing that's interesting is that monkey that steals your perks. Now, the funny thing about that is when he steals the perks, he, he keeps switching it to something else. So I'm sure that good players are going to find a way to get that max ammo anytime they want. They're just going to let they're just going to let that those monkeys take it. And when they get the max ammo, they're going to kill him. And look at that smooth revive. I even pulled up my weapons while I was reviving, taking your advice, but... I go down again. So there it is. Here's our, this was our second game on this map. The first game, we only got to round six. It was just pathetic. It was so pathetic, I had to not even show you that footage. So this is the second game, the game right after that. For some reason, I thought it would be a good idea to get quick revived now that I've been revived and I have the money to do it, but then I get caught. I couldn't, I, I couldn't even take 10 steps before I got hit again. So there it is. Now we're going to switch to the next game where we did a little bit better and there's different people in the party this time. What, where did you come from? So in this game, I decided not to play as conservative. I was hitting the, the mystery box, wasting all my points. And so I get stuck with a ballistic knife and I figured, why not show you some ballistic knife gameplay? Because I never used a ballistic knife. So this is a good time to to show that off and I actually did pretty well I I got a lot of points I only had about I think I had less than 100 points when I first got the ballistic knife and I end with a nice I think maybe 2,000 or so so I'm panicking a little bit there because I don't want to get trapped so I come over here uh, look at me just knifing like a boss I guess it takes only two two knives at this level so I'm going to try not to lay down commentary right now because the party is panicking and I want you to hear them. What the? Holy crap. Regan, uh, Regan. Regan. All right, camp, cover me. Cover me, cover me. Help. So that was just a bad... Oh, there goes Camp of Duty going down. And this was just a bad idea 
coming to this spot of the map when I'm moving so slow with that H2K, H21K, whatever the gun is. I know there's going to be comments about it. <laughs> so I think I'm going down. I'm not moving, taking your advice because you said you die faster if you move. So I do get revived right here. So I have nice weapons. I have some points. So now I just need to somehow get out of here alive. Somehow. Can I do it? Uh-oh, the fireman is coming back. Little Wayne is coming back. And look at me running a train without even running a train. I'm just I'm just going to go in a circle in one spot. This is going to be an amazing maneuver right here. Seriously, this I don't know how I got out of this. What maneuver could possibly be smoother? Look at me giving them crossovers left and right and then I utilize this trap system to my advantage. I take the trap, I see zombies, I'm shooting them. Oh my goodness. Look at me putting on a show. This is a good spot. I'm thinking that maybe I need to camp at this spot now. Just camp at this trap. So I get that nuke. I get that Luke nuke, but Little Wayne doesn't care. He, Little Wayne doesn't care about nukes. He keeps chasing us. And now it's time to do something. It's time to do something that I, I don't advise. It's time to, with zero ammo. Oh, look at that crossover. Ah, oh, Chris, what are you doing here? <laughs> use the baby, use the baby, use the baby. And you hear Troy, he's like, Chris, what are you doing over here? Because he was trying to run a route. And I needed ammo, so I ended up spoiling his mess. And then, ooh, 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 ooh no. No. <laughs> so I go down again. And I remember not to move, so right here I stop moving. Camp of Duty tries to revive Chris Smooth. And Camp of Duty, I think, just went down. I'm not sure. Oh, no, there he is. He's right there. I get revived somehow. Oh, I give him a cross. <laughs> and you, you got to have that 2K, that NBA 2K experience to do good on this map. You got to cross over zombies a lot. You got to find ways to to get away in, in, in little tight spaces. You need that. You need those ISO motion moves. So here I go. I'm hitting the box again. Please give me something good. I get another H2K1 or H2K, whatever it is. And I'm moving slow now, so. Not too happy about that, about moving slow. But you do have a lot of ammo, and you can build up a lot of points. What maneuver could possibly be some mover? <laughs> oh. Now I have to reload. Oh, look at that crossover. I'm telling you, I'm a crossover genius. Crossover extraordinaire. A crossover professional. Even with a slow moving gun like that. So I take this little cart to safety. But I'm not really as safe as I think I am. That's for sure. And look at Troy. He's trying. He's trying. He's trying, but he's got those panic pistols, so he's all good. <laughs> I mean, this map is just, it's just amazing. I mean, look at all the way, look at all the ways you can get away from the zombies. I am not trying to save you, Camp. I'm sorry. <laughs> I know, I know. I, hey, I oh my god. Oh, oh my god. I have all of them on me. <sighs> Bye, MP5. You listen to the party panic. <laughs> so here I get into a jam again. So I have to take that cart one more time, and and, and actually it wouldn't let me take it. it. It gave me some cheesy message about it's not available right now. What kind of cheese is that? These zombies, they're trying to frustrate you. Oh, God, oh, God, oh, God. Got everyone on you, Troy. So here I'm back at the bad spot. This is not where you want to be, but I'm doing my spin move. My Chris Smooth spin move. Look look at this Chris Smooth spin move. You think I'm going down? You think Chris Smooth is going down? Get real, noobs. <laughs> oh, there goes Little Wayne. Little Wayne is back. The fire, man. Fire for fire, man. Uh oh. Oh, oh. Now, now I think I'm done. I don't know. Troy went down. No. Because he's a boss at zombies, so. Ooh, look at what I'm doing. I'm. <laughs> I'm trying to get back to this spot where I was abusing last time. I'm with the traps I'm getting hit by it from all and it's working to my advantage this is actually a good strategy to use those things to use that random that randomly changing of the platforms oh, over that mud or quicksand whatever it is i know somebody's gonna correct me with the right term go ahead in the comments do what you do 
Oh yeah, I gotta take this again. Look at that. I had nowhere to go with that M16. And then look at this. They're riding and they can't hit me. They're not even attacking you. They're just like, hey, how's it going? They can't hit me, and I'm actually panicking. I'm I'm hit firing. I mean, I am hitting them, but I should be aiming down the sights, right? But I was panicking right there. I'm like on that Minecraft. They're there. I don't know what to do. I'm panicking. And <laughs> I'm going down. I think that's why zombies is so much fun. Is because you know you can panic and stuff. And it, it, it's all right. If you panic, you know, nobody really cares. It's, it's just a fun element. Oh, yeah, yeah, we'll we'll the demo. Oh. And you hear Camper Duty with his his signature saying, get that max ammo. I'm not going anywhere. Get that max ammo. <laughs> That's Camper Duty's catchphrase right there. <laughs> yeah, get out of there, Chris. Get out of there. You, you. <laughs> See that? Listening to the advice. I'm trying to get out of there, but there's nowhere to go. I'm like, where do I go? Where do I go? Oh, no. <laughs> This 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 is just insane, man. This this is hectic. So much action. Next time, live com for sure. No, Chris, no, Chris, no. Oh. <laughs> I go down. And that's pretty much the game. Look at Camper Duty with 14 downs. So we end at round 16. First session, three games, we get to level 16. Not too bad, and I figured since Camper Duty went down 14 times, let's go ahead and switch over to the Camper Duty down Taj. So here we go. Here's the first clip. The first time that he goes down in this game. Look, look at Camper Duty just committing suicide. When he saw him about to explode, why didn't he back up? I don't know. He just wanted to kill himself. So that's the first time that he goes down. So right here. Actually, he did not go AFK, it looks like. He's actually moving, and he gets taken down by a crawler. Look at that. <laughs> he got taken down by a crawler when he wasn't even AFK. That's just sad. Now, right here, he just gets that ray gun out of that mystery box, and look, he runs into them. Why didn't he keep his spacing? Why didn't Camper Duty keep his spacing? I don't know. Sometimes I think he goes down on purpose. I think he's trying to compete with, with Epic. I think he wants to be... He wants to make a, a, a more epic down Taj than epic quack on the PS3. <laughs> and here's another clip of him with the ray gun. And he just, ah, you know what? That's it. No more down Taj footage. If you want to see him go down more, I'm sure he'll upload the down Taj on his page. I'm signing out. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching.